Hello, everybody. Tom Basil speaking. Mike Delicio here. And we are back. Today, we are being joined in the crowds, in the stands, talking to fans. We have Chris Yee. Welcome, sir. Hello. In the words of, of Baca in the chat, let's get ready to marble. All right. All right. We're going to have to get like one of those voice modulators yeah. that you can do on the spot. This is true. You wonder what marble races are, because some of you, you normally show up here at uh, early morning. We mm -hmm. do this at 10, is it, or 9? Nine? Nine. It doesn't matter. What? It's, it's earlier than most people. Yes. But now it's afternoon. These are marble races. These are marbles that are now tired out from eating their heavy, carb-loaded meal. And you can see how sluggish they are, Tom. Look at this. This is really sad. This is a bit of, well, that's why these guys are not in the big leagues. I suppose so. That's it. You have a marble, Mike. Is, it, has he, is he shot up the race today? Uh, my marble? I believe uh, has shown up to race today, Tom. Well, what happened was we had some <laughs> weight things, and there was some there was some argument over whether he was qualified or not. So did Correct. not make it. Uh, oh, my marble! Yes, no, no. My technically, my marble is not able to make it, Tom. Maybe yeah. next week. Maybe next maybe week. Next we'll, week. We'll, we'll we'll see. All righty, folks. Well, you might wonder who is racing today. Well, here you go.
Yeah, so last time, Mike, we forgot to mention the fact that that was the first two-time winner we had with Strawberry Shortcake. I tell you what, Tom, that's quite an impressive achievement. And if you're not ready to race after seeing that introduction, then I don't know what's wrong with you. All right, folks. Well, we're going to get to the rules of our race in a bit. But first of all, we're going to have 16 elimination races. And we're going to be going through these races and eliminating six of the marbles in each race. There's going to be seven marbles in most of the races. Mm -hmm. And one marble will make it to the final round. Very simple. All right. Each race, we're going to eliminate the last two people who make it. So we have Ice Ice Baby and Snot Rocket. <laughs> That's a fantastic combo, Tom. Pretender and Mr. Blue Sky. Seems like you keep putting marbles that look very similar to each other in the same I have uh, a Storm and Quicksilver. Oh. I did not do that. That was our gate manager and the Goblin King. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Place your bets, people. Don't no. bet on this. Please, no wagering, people. Please, no wagering. I know we've had the, to kick two people the out. The temptation last time. is very, very strong, but look at that. Well, this ain't looking good for two of the racers. No, no, uh, no. Obviously. All right, well, the blue one. Mr. Blue Sky didn't even try. He did not. So Shameful. Shameful. Uh, I'm not. I'm not uh, well, whatever. Only one of these is making it. That's all there is to it. Who's the crowd rooting for, I wonder? Let's take a look. Chris Two up at the very top of the stadium. Can you hear us, Chris? Can you hear us up there, Chris? Any word from who people may be pulling for? Well, it's a bit windy up here, gentlemen, but... From what I can tell, Sorry, it God, looks like came. people are rooting for uh, Strawberry Shortcake saying that she's yucky. Strawberry Shortcake isn't in this race, Chris. I know you can't see it from that high vantage point, <laughs> but I appreciate the input. This is it. Only one of these marbles is going to make it. <laughs> Here we go. And it doesn't look like it's going to be the Pretender. No. And that's it, uh, folks. Our first entry in the race, Mike, you can write it on the board. Ice Ice Baby. Ice Ice Baby is being written down on the big board, Tom. Bam, 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 bam. All right. Our next race of seven, we have Gray Fox and Oyster. Electron High and BB Great. Flaming Hot and Blood Puddle. They look exactly the same. They do not. Blood Puddle <laughs> has a little bit more blood. Okay. More blood. Blood Puddle, Tom, I got to tell you, the crowd is really, really hyped up over Blood Puddle. That's what... Are they? Yeah, this has got to be the and most exciting Speckled new entrance team. in a long time, Tom. <laughs> well, I'm kind of hoping Blood Puddle loses then. <laughs> Here we go. Blood Puddle coming out of the gate. Relatively strong. Here we go. Look at that. Leaving a trail of blood in its wake. Look at that Blood oh, Puddle blood taking blood. no prisoners. Yeah, unfortunately, though, all that did was eliminate two. It's still got to win it does. a few more times. Mm hmm here they go. Plasma power in effect. Here we go. Huh? Maybe Blood Puddle does want it. I don't know. It looks like flaming hot to me. No, now. it's Blood Puddle. You just that bad eyesight. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, and Blood Puddle was. Wait. Are we sure that's not? Oh, no. This one was eliminated. Okay. And this one was. No, the one that's slightly clear is Blood Puddle. <laughs> okay. Just accept, accept my right. better eyesight. All right. Also, I'm the, I'm the judge of the race. All right, here we go. Only one of these is going to win. Blood Puddle, Flaming Hot, or Speckled Knight of Teton. All right, here we Brown go. Brown is going for Blood Puddle from what I can see. Here we go. Wow. Blood Puddle getting Blood caught in the centrifuge. Getting caught in the centrifuge. Oh. Speckled Knight of Teton makes it in. I really was hoping that wouldn't go because that's a lot to write down. <laughs> yeah. Just write Teton. I will. You're lazy. All right. That's our second entry. Both of those have been in races before. Yes, they have, Tom. All right, so now we have Florida Weather, No Mercy, Unicorn Dream and The Moose. We have True Love and Dreamsicle. Dreamsicle's a new entrant. That's now. true. And we have Pollen. <laughs> All right. Pollen's itching to get started, Tom. Pollen has done well before in the past. <laughs> true Love is dying a sure. slow death here. I'm pretty sure that the wind is going to start up soon. <laughs> That's what I heard. Uh-huh. All right. Florida weather is out. Florida weather is out indeed, Tom. But you know where it's not out, folks? Here in Florida. It is not. I just had to turn on the air. I hope you don't mind. All right. There we go. That's where the thumbs down on the videos always come. <laughs> All righty. Whoa, Paul Watson. Whoa, coming out strong. I wonder if we'll have any newcomers make this thing. Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, no, Paul. Well, that was a start to finish, and true love is... True. Not in the mix. Okay, but we have two newish marbles. Okay. All right, so we have uh, Oyster is one of the new marbles, and um, uh, is that Dreamsicle. Dreamsicle. Oyster then, is new. And then Pop. Oyster was new last week. Last week. Okay. That's not Oyster anyway. That's a uh, unicorn. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just do this. Here we go. Dreamsicle coming out strong. Well, Dreamsicle is be right it. behind. Oh, there. Pollen. 
Woo! I think. Oh! Oh, that was an aggressive move. Look at that. Dreamsicle is in the mix. First race. Dreamsicle makes it in. Congratulations. Dreamsicle is a fantastic name. I'll tell you what, when I was name. making the. Uh, the uh, the comments here. I did not know if I was spelling Dreamsicle pr correctly. It just was, I don't know. It's just one of those D R E A M S I C L E. I believe, right? We have Jurassic Amber, Blue Mini, Root Beer Float, Champagne Bubble, Montana Marvel, Red Planet, and Moonstruck. <coughs> wow, we all know what the crowd favorite is here, but. Root beer float hasn't made root a long float, time, Yeah, folks. root beer float has really not been able to stay he's, in the mix. He's, he's considered a has-been by a lot I of people. I tell you the truth, it's because I think it's still smarting from the fact that cream floats are vastly superior to root beer floats. I you think. know, I don't know why you you can't can like we, both. Can we pull the, the crowd there and get an opinion on whether cream floats cream are better than root beer floats? Here we go. Root well, beer float is starting to feel like it maybe has Maybe a... you should trash talk more often. <laughs> no. oh. Sorry, Root Bear Float Sorry. and Montana Marble are out. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, but Jurassic Amber, they're another new one. Mm. Will they make the finals? That's disappointing the crowd who is leading towards Root Beer Float from up here. Mm. Yeah, that always happens. You'll get used to it, Chris. They pick people <laughs> for no reason at all. Mostly based on food names. That's but you true. know what? I can't blame them. I agree. Wow. Jurassic Amber! Oh! 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 Why does? That was close. You bounce too much. Who That's made why it I in? don't bounce. I'm not even sure, Mike. I believe their name is Moonstruck. Do share, Tom. Is that Moonstruck? It is Moonstruck, All yes. Right. All right. Racer number five is going to be the Maul Sheen, Slush Ball, Clown, the Vegemite Kid, who did a good showing last time, Pretty Pretty Princess, Cotton Candy, or Yellow Days. All right. Chris, you don't know much about Clown. Clown is here. Most of these people have sponsors, rich sponsors. It's kind of like Hunger Games, but with marbles. But Clown has sponsored himself. He's only made the finals once. Clown is in the top three, Tom. That's true, but he's still got up. And there goes our newcomer, Cotton Candy, which Mike is not sure looks like Cotton Candy. I was a little confused, Tom. Honestly, I was a little confused. That's not like any Cotton Candy I've ever had. Well, then that just means you've never had young children, because I've seen lots of Cotton Candy that looks like that. Um... Okay, Tom. We'll go. Come I'll, on, I'll, Clown. I'll let, I'll let it go. Clown is... Oh, my goodness. Still in well, the mix, Clown Tom. Made Still it. in the mix. But Australia has been eliminated. A whole continent, huh? Wow. That's a, that's a pretty <laughs> impressive... <laughs> Mike, it seems that the, the consent from up here is that root beer floats are better, and what is a cream float? Oh, boy. I'm, I'm Tom, a cream float is using... Cream soda. Correct. Preferably red cream, red cream soda. Yes. Or orange cream soda, which is a rare sure, it's one. It's like a 50 50 bar. And then with some vanilla ice cream. It is much it's superior much to, better a root beer than float. to a root beer float. I do agree time. with Mike on that, even though oh. he's pretty much wrong about life in general. <laughs> I'm not wrong about the cotton candy, though. Here we go. Looks like a crowd, clown is out. All right. And so the it's machine. The machine has made it in. All right. Uh, okay. I'm assuming that's with an M A W. It's M A U, actually. Oh. Learn to spell. Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> and Dirty May are in next. Learn to spell made-up words. Got it, Tom. It's on my to-do list. Eye of the Pharaoh, Aussie Tourist, Molten Lava, Travel Buddy, and Moonbeam. All right. We have Moonstruck and Moonbeam that can possibly be in the same mix, Tom. Time to hope that Moonbeam does not win here. Moonbeam, All right. it's time for you to take a rest. Here we go. A lot of tentative racers, Tom. I don't want. I think they don't want to tire themselves out before the finals. That's true. As long as you're not in the last two, right. as I, the Pharaoh, and Tony, and Molten Lava. Oh, that Molten Lava. Or Tony? You do get them mixed up often. I know. I'm not sure. I think it was Molten Lava. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Either way, they're out. Either way, as soon as they're, they're out, out, I forget their names. I've already like, forgotten. Like what? Yep. Look at that little upstart, Tom. Getting in there. Oh, couldn't quite pull into third place, second place, but still in the mix. Oh, well, the moonbeam is still in there. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, moonbeam was coming out strong, but I think I might be is okay. Is that what you call coming out strong? Like a clear third? Well, but look, I don't. I, it's not over yet, Tom. I've seen these oh, races too many times. All right. Good. All righty. Which marble won there? I'm not even sure. Uh, it is. Oh, Aussie Tourist. Aussie Tourist. I thought we got rid of Aussie. Apparently, Australia had a backup racer. All right. I don't know. I'll figure it out. All right. We got Misty Shadow, Misty Avocado, Sh Tony. That's Tony, Mike. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Street Smarts, Bumblebee, 
Dove and Bluey. Hmm. Your favorite name. Bluey is a good one, yeah. Here we go, Misty Shadow and Avocado Woo! coming out of the gate, both sounding like uh, different types of mascara. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. That was an impressive move at the end there. All right. Indeed, a couple indeed. of racers are out. I don't know who, but honestly, I don't care. Focusing on the winners. That's true. That Because if you don't win, <laughs> it's like you weren't even there. You're dead to me. Isn't that the way the commercials on TV were? I think it is. Oh, that was an aggressive move. All righty. Well, I'm, I'm, you don't need to remember if it's Tony or Molten Lava. <laughs> they're both Because they're gone. both out. But Street Smarts, one of my personal favorites, is still in it. All right. Here we go. Who's going to be the one out of it's this? Street Smarts or Bluey or um, one of the other ones. <laughs> and oh! oh, Street Smarts makes it into Street the final. Street Smarts gets in there. Looping. All right, we're moving right along. Tom, right. bad news for you. Uh, uh, Gregory in the chat is not even sure what a red cream soda is. I'm losing, <laughs> Tom, I'm losing all hope in humanity. Can you help me out here? <laughs> red cream soda, it's like cream soda, but it's a deeper, muskier flavor. It's, I don't know, I could think I'd go with musky. It's a maltier <laughs> flavor, Tom. Ah, uh, malty, musky. Musky is something that's associated Malt with toxin, I believe. I don't know that I want to be <laughs> looking for that in my beverage of choice. Amnesia, <laughs> confetti. Firestorm, it is not a very popular flavor in America. It's not. It's not even in the top 20, probably. No, but it's so good. Yellow Bird, it should be. Gregory, do yourself a Whale. favor. Go, go out and find yourself a Kamara. Mark's Red Cream Soda. Jack Put some Skellington. Vanilla ice cream in it, and then your, your whole This set, may your be the prettiest lineup we've done so it's far. It's gorgeous, Tom. Yeah, a lot of iridescent racers in this mix. And, of course, oh, I tell All you right, what, confetti, well, man, confetti always seems to find its way Whale. in that. Whale just could not pull that off. No, no. Whale, whale, whale. I got that joke from the Datto base. <laughs> you sure did. All right. Also, not the first time you've used it. Here we go. Confetti still, still moving along. Why? Wow, tell you what, Tom. Confetti finds a way. Still in the, still in play here. By the way, folks, if you ever think about sending someone a card full of confetti, don't. <laughs> Do not. That's rude. Confetti is evil. Here we go. This is Tom. I don't know. This is this is going to be close. It's going to be really close. No, it's that, not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually not sure which which marble just won. Oh, it's that's a shiny uh, one. Kamora. Oh, okay. Kamora wasn't Kamora in last week's race. I believe so. Well, Kamora. if you did your job as a statistician, Tom, right. I think we all know better than that. That's half our racers, folks. Second half. Here we go. We have Leaf on the win. Valen. Duke of York, Fox. We have TNT Dynamite and Born of Ashes. And we have Gray Swirls. A lot of non-translucent marbles in this race. It's a bold choice to name a marble directly by what it looks like, Tom. That's a bold choice. Gray Swirl. That's true. And uh, it almost cost them this uh, <laughs> oh, round. They didn't still have a chance. Well, Fox is called Fox instead of Brown Swirl. That's true. And I do. Oh! oh! Tell you what, Gray Swirl's not looking good, Tom. Not looking good. Yeah, well. None of them are particularly looking good. I can tell you, none of them wanted to win that race. It did seem like a race for last. It sure I'm did. not even letting Gray Swirl's finish. No, you, you don't get You don't got time for that. Nobody no. got time for that. Here we go. Who's going to be in? Is Fox going to make this one? Or it's, it's possible Fox is still in play here, Tom. Oh, that was a fast move down the outside. Fox is in. Mike likes Fox. Why? Three letters. Three letters. Easy to spell. F-O-X. Yes. Next, we have Hi-Ho Silver, Storm, Grandma's New Hip. Switching to the next box. <laughs> We have the Electro Knight, one of the Kudzu brothers, Rise of Atlantis, and Cobalt. All right. Wow, it's almost like we've got a, like, almost like they're in order by size here. Yeah, Hi-Ho Silver is going to have a hard time. This track is just not made for him. No, no. Hi As Hi evidenced Silver by is, his girth. <laughs> having a hard time, although. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, did not get eliminated, did it? 
No, but there goes a cutsy, brother. Yeah, bare, didn't even want to finish. Old money sometimes Shameful. doesn't help. I tell you what. The Cutsy Brothers, Chris, we're, we're explaining a lot to Chris, uh, come from a rich background. Yes. They actually own part of the track. They do. A little good that has done them, though. That, that, that reeked a little cheating there. Little, oh, wow. Well, I wouldn't even have thought that could happen. Hyle Silver has been corralled. It has been corralled. Away with you, Hyle Silver. My joke was better. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Well, Wasn't a high bar to leap, though, Tom. <laughs> Mike and Tom, Angela Fortunato just slipped me a $2 bill to let you know that she enjoys your commentary, both of you. Wow, wow. thank you. Thank you for becoming a new member as well. Tell you what, $2, thank you. I think that can, that can buy you a delicious cream soda. Well, definitely. <laughs> Or a cream float. A cream float, even. Wow. Well, there we go, folks. Uh, the winner there is... Um, all right. Swirls. Yeah, um... <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm going to keep a track here. I believe that might be, well, it's not these two. <laughs> it's not I think that's Electro Knight, but oh. I'm going to double check here. Uh, yes, that's Electro Knight. Electro Knight. The crowd's a little disappointed, Electro Knight, not letting Grandma take the lead. Yeah. Yes, I tell you what. Swirly Dervish, Buzz, Mars Rover, Wasp. Oh, great. Oh, these look exactly <laughs> like right, Hang on. Let me check. White Swirls is Wasp. Okay. All right. Snake Eyes, Green Fiesta, and Fissure. All right. Wasp has White Swirls. Okay. Here we go. Otherwise, they look identical. Well, you know what? I got stung. I don't really care what the name of the thing <laughs> That's was. That's true. The white, oh. the white is deadly, deadly poison. Well, we don't have to worry about Wasp anymore, Tom. That is true. We're down. I'm kind of hoping for Fissure. There are rumors that Fissure is a clone. Fissure is something that you've, yeah, you've been pulling for Fissure the last few weeks, Tom, and Fissure has not been cooperating, although today, looking a little bit more spunky out here as it pulls into fifth place. <laughs> Fourth place. Fourth right. place. Come are, on. Are no one cares about you. No, you're done. I don't got time for that. Sorry, Fissure. All right. You got to split. <laughs> and sorry, folks. It's hard to make the sound of me shaking my head, but if you can imagine it, uh, well... Oh, oh my goodness. Start to finish domination by the red one. That's Mars Rover. Mar wow, that's a new entry, Mars Rob. Rover, I believe, has not made... It hasn't made our finals The anyway. finals before. All right, now we have Not a Cheetah, who's been in quite a few finals. Yes. Geiger. Chris Geiger is actually radioactive. Butterball. Drink your Ovaltine. Oily to Rise. Istanbul. And Terra. Tara is a Tara is the best looking marble. Tara is seasons. a a very very impressive racer, Tom. Tara's only made the finals once. That's the problem. I mean, it, it it's aesthetically impressive, but oh, look at that! Second place. Yeah, that might not be a bad thing to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Uh -huh. All right. Here we go. Race number two of this. Heat. Oh, Butterball. Butterball is a bit of a favorite unless yeah. they're up against Rupier Float for whatever reason. Right. All right. Well, here we go. We still have some interesting racers in the mix. Ooh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited about whoever wins here. Yeah. We got Butterball. We got, um, uh, whatever is this one oily is. To rise, maybe? Oily to Rise, correct? And Terra. All right. I'm sorry. I'm not going to root for Oily to Rise because it's a much longer name. Here we go, Terra. Terra, the race is yours to lose. And there goes Butterball. Oh! <laughs> that might be one of the most incredible finishes I've seen in the last five seconds. Oily to rise. Just to spite on, me. Wait, no, sorry. We were just informed. That's not oily to rise. That's Constantinople. Oh, got it. All righty. That's what happens when you, and it doesn't matter. All right. Milky Way. <laughs> Destiny. Wah! Ready, set, spaghetti. Imperial Rex and Screwball Scrambler. And I need the next... I need the next, uh, the next there. game here. And Gang Green. Yep, here we go. Here we go, and they're off. Wow. Oh, Waz. Waz is just dominating. Oh! <laughs> this is what happens, Waz, when you get yourself. Wow, now this is interesting, Tom. That's true. Only the last two are eliminated, so somehow. 
Why came through that? Interesting, Tom. That's a rule that's been in stone for years, Mike. <laughs> Certainly was not something that was just made up. That is correct. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look, you got yourself a little too, too, too riled up there. And this is what happens. Ra is out as well as the thing he yells about, Ready, which is set, spaghetti. spaghetti. Yep. All righty. All right. Nathan Bredfeld is, is sad. He even used a spaghetti emoji. In chat. Oh, Nathan, that's a shame. That's the first time I knew there was a spaghetti emoji. Tom, there's an emoji for everything literally that exists on the planet. Except for avocado mascara. That's a Mike Delisio original. <laughs> that's correct. I just want that oh, cre cream soda oh, emoji. Oh, wait, look at that. Okay, um, I'm not even sure who just won there. Where's that... Um, it's a cool looking oh, marble. It is a cool looking marble, Tom. I don't it know. It is that one. A Milky Way. Milky, Milky Way. Way. Okay. Milky Way is by far one of the worst candy bars, Tom. I'm just going to put that out you there. You said that last time. Stardust, Upside Down, Ocean Waves, Terrapin Titan, Dead Spring, Crystal Ball, and Dairy Queen. All right. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13. Three marbles left, folks. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, Dairy Queen not doing a very good job here. And that was an early favorite. By the Association of Favorite Marbles? Correct. Got it. That, that that makes sense. I've dealt with those people before. Yeah, they're they're a little bit flaky, Tom. Terrapin Titan is one of the few marbles that has won Correct. one of our races. Our previous champion, Terrapin Titan. Oh, wow. Terrapin's looking like it wants to win again. That's true. I think it's upset that we already had a two-time champion and it was not Terrapin I don't disagree with that, but, you know, sometimes I don't make the races. I just run them. I don't wow. even decide the scoring. That's done by a secretive group called, hang on, i got to think of a name. <laughs> and, oh, oh Terrapin Titan you're not gonna make out it this there time. by another marble. <laughs> I wonder what that marble's name is. Let me go ask him since he's kind of shy. That is... The Upside Down. Oh, really? This just in from the audience, there is a slight revolt being planned against Mike Delisio for his opinion on Milky Way bars. <laughs> Folks, clearly Milky Way bars just don't have the cachet of something like a uh, good... The last uh, two races have eight marbles. Whatchamacallit. Because of math. Wasabi Nova, The Brute, Megalodons, The Patriot, Loch Ness Monster, Red Sonia, and Force Field. All right. Um... Ready, set. Here we go. Oh. Well, Loch Ness Monster's out. Loch Ness Monster is I'm just I'm taking out illusion. three in this match, just All so right. you know. Here we go. Wow. Hey, the Brute's the in brute there. The Brute is in there. But the Patriot's out. All righty. Interesting. Okay. Is this wasabi or avocado? I always get those two confused. I think it's wasabi because we had avocado Which you should not do earlier. when eating sushi. No, you should not. Although both. Oh, the Brute oh. is out. The <laughs> well, Brute was, is out. That was a fast that run was. for the Brute. That was not pretty. And All it's not right. looking good for Force Field. No, Force Field is not going to make it. Sorry, Force Field. Here but, we go. you know, I'm not really. So, here we go. Can Wasabi make the finals? <laughs> they can. Avocado can't since they're not in the race, Tom. Here we go. Oh. Nope, that is Nova. Nova, I like that one. It's easy to write down. Well, maybe someone should send in a, a marble that just has the letter A <laughs> I, I to like make it, Mike happy. I like it. And our final qualifier, which is Strawberry Shortcake, oh, Split Pea Zoo, two -time Cat's champion. Eye, Fiesta Fajita, Wrecking Ball, League of Sprites, Cupcake, and Mint Chocolate Chip. This is two former champions wow, in here. We got, this is a powerhouse lineup here, Tom. Who wants it more? Who wants it more? Oh, wow. Interesting. Cupcake. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to get flamed, but I said the last three are out this race. So there goes Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, our two-time champion has fallen in the first No heat. such thing as a dynasty here, folks. No. We don't allow that. Will not. Wow, mint chocolate chip coming out strong, but, but still um, got beaten by Fiesta Fajita. That's true. Well, sometimes that's what food will do to you. And there goes another former champion. Cupcake yep. is out. Tom, the crowd is very excited about the chances of Fiesta Fajita being in the finals. Are they? Or is that just you saying that? That might be me, Tom. Chris, is that me or is that the crowd? The crowd's probably yelling about Strawberry Shortcake that's if I true. know them. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh that Dom. folks is a rematch. Oh, Fiesta Vajita is very upset because well, they yeah, but, won that race. Well, I don't have nothing in that. that Here's was, our asterisk race, folks. Asterisk. Mike, the crowd is currently still yelling candy bars. What you call it? Paydays and wasabi, which oh. I've never heard of. Yeah, whatchamacallits and patties are both much better than well, there you Milky go, Mike. Bars. Fiesta Fajita made it in. I'm just going to call it Fiesta Tom. I figured you might. All right, Mike, give me the list of the marbles in this final race. Here we go. Our final racers today are Ice Ice Baby. The Hang on. Okay. Got it. Speckled Knight of Teton. Uh, okay. The Dream Sickle. That's probably that one. Uh, Moonstruck. Where's Moonstruck on the sheets? <laughs> I don't remember what Moonstruck looks like. I don't want to mess this up. No, Tom, this is very important. Well, keep going. Maybe I'll find it by process okay, of elimination. Here we go. Machine. That's Machine. The Aussie Tourist. That was, um... <laughs> that's that one. Things are falling apart. No, no. Uh, Street Smarts. Street Smarts. Kimura. That's Kimura. Fox. Fox. Electro Knight. That's Electro. Uh, one of those two is Electro Knight. Keep going. <laughs> Mars Rover. That's Mars Rover. Istanbul. Well, that was once Constantinople. Milky Way. Don't remember that one either. Keep going. <laughs> the Upside Down. That's the Upside Down. Nova. There's Nova. Fiesta Fajita. Fiesta Fajita. All right. So tell me the three that made it. Oh, boy. Okay. Um. Was it Machine? Is that one you didn't no, have? No, just go through the list again. Ice Ice Baby, Speckled Knight of Teton. Yep. Dreamsicle, Moonstruck. Oh, Dreamsicle. Sorry, I got Dreamsicle. I, that's Moonstruck, that's Dreamsicle. Got okay. it. Okay. Um, so what's the, uh, let's see. Keep here. going, we got Machine. Uh, Aussie Tourist. Aussie Tourist. Street Smarts. Yep. Kimura. Yep. Fox. Yep. Electro Knight and Mars Rover. Got it. Uh, Istanbul. Yes, and then Milky, Milky Way. Milky Way, yep. Got it. All right. All right. Hopefully I have it memorized. All right, folks, let's talk about the rules for this particular race. This is the race. Second is the best. First is the worst. Third is... No, Third. first is the worst. Second is the best. Third is the marble with the hairy... I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I can forget all the rhymes. All right, here's how this works, folks. In this race, you want to be second. You don't want to be first because first gets zero points. Second Ooh. gets ten points. Third gets seven. Fourth gets five. Fifth gets three. Sixth gets two. Seven gets one. So no matter, you just it's the same thing as before, except first gets nothing. First gets a whole lot of nothing. And then, of course, we're going to keep track of bonuses. We split these races up into threes. If you get the same place twice in a group of three, you get a bonus of five. If you get the same place all three times, which has not yet been done, you get 15 points. If you don't place it all in multiple comms, you can score bonus points. We'll talk about that if it happens. The cupcake rule. The cupcake rule, yes. And if you place in every column... Of a, of a triplicate, you get a bonus of five. Mm -hmm. And then you get bonus points for having the most first, second, thirds, fourth, fifths, and sixth places, except that's actually going to switch to second through seventh place. Okay. And if you get all six places, you get a bonus of 15 points. Oh, my goodness. These God. bonuses are given out after the 12th round, and then the bottom eight marbles will be eliminated. Don't worry. It will make sense as we go through. Or not. Did you get all that, Chris? I sure did. All of it. I That's will fair. repeat it back verbatim. <laughs> First is the worst. Second <laughs> is the best. <laughs> Here we go. Race number one. And they're off. And now it counts. Everything else was leading up to this, Tom. You can sense the tension in the racers. Oh, wow. and no Nova. No, Nova is not good. Is out. That's right. Nova, Nova is. So we're just going to pull the first one out yes. to make life easier. Fiesta Fajita getting 10 points. All right. Well, it's the, no, that's not no, Fiesta Fajita. That's Fiesta. Street Smarts with 10. I'm still giving it to Fiesta Fajita. Okay, 10 for Street Smarts. <laughs> Fiesta Fajita did not place. I'm aware. Second is uh, Kimura. Okay, <laughs> seven. Uh, third is, uh, is that Milky Way? No, it's not Milky Way. Um, that is... Um, Fourth is Machine. <laughs> okay, three for Machine. Fifth is Ice Ice Baby, and sixth is Aussie Tourist. Okay. Uh, let's go through these names <laughs> again, because I do not know why I cannot remember that. Mike. That's not Speckled Knight of Teton, is it? The that is the Speckled Knight of Teton. Okay, so that's five points for that. You think I would remember such a cool name? Since it's Speckled. Alrighty. Not a problem, folks. That's only race one. Race one. Oh, why is Nova up here? Oh, Nova never left the gate, Tom. 
Did I? Oh, I put Nova up there because oh, they came okay. in first. <laughs> oh, that's right. Nova did leave the game. That is definitely not a sign of me getting old. No, not at all, Tom. I'm a little surprised that Chris didn't catch that from 35,000 feet up. What was that, Mike? Exactly. Here we go. This is race number two of 15 races. Wow. And there goes the Speckled Knight team. Again, but, you but don't not want to be wanting first. to be first. That's a shame. He, he seemed to have missed that rule. I oh, wait, are we sure that's the Speckled Knight team? That's not. That's Milky Way. That's right. All right. First here, then, since first is eliminated, second. Uh, so Kamora gets 10. Wow. And then, um, um, <laughs> third is Aussie Tourist. Uh-huh. Um. Then we have um, Istanbul. Istanbul with three. Creamsicle or Dreamsicle, which is. Dreamsicle with two. Ice Ice Baby. With one. So we still need to know who is third place. Why can I not remember this, Mike? Oh, the, that is. Yeah, who is that? Is that Electro, is that Electro Knight? Knight? Where's Electro Knight's picture? See, I thought that was Electro Knight. Oh. Oh, it's upside down. Upside down. Upside down with seven. Okay. Oh, Don't. boy, Tom. The crowd is cheering that you're losing your marbles. <laughs> Unfortunately, if we lost marbles, it would actually make this easier. It would. Now, I'd like to remind one of some of the audience members that this is not indeed a plot against the Root Beer Float Union by the Cream Soda Industrial Complex. That being said, we'd like to thank our sponsors, the Tom Vassell Cream Soda Factory. Hey, they pay good money. That's right. Look. Any money's good here. That's right. All right. Oh, here oh we go. dreams of gold. Remember. Wow. You don't want to be first. They, oh. oh. See, did you see that clever move there? I did. So what happened there was um, the uh, milk, the Milky Way, <laughs> he bounced in there at the bottom, but yeah. then let someone pass him. It That's was a correct. clever move. It was. All right. So 10 points for Milky Way. 10 points for Milky Way. And then we have um, Moonstruck with seven points. Okay. Uh, third place is Dreamsicle. Gotcha. Fourth place is um, the Speckled Knight of Teton. Mm -hmm. Fifth place is Nova. And sixth place is Red Rover or Mars Rover. Sorry. Mars Rover. All right. So it's time for some bonuses, perhaps. I don't think we have any bonuses we may here. We not have any bonuses. Nobody placed in every race and nope. nobody repeated a place. Nope. There's a couple that are in for the no scoring still. Yep. Fox and Electro Fiesta Night and, and Electro Knight. Yep. Yep. So not, not, not a. There's no runaway leader, which, of course, as we all know, if you're a Euro gamer, that's what you wanted. Correct. Here we go. Race number four. Coming out of the gate strong. Let's see if we see some more of that. That's now bounce. Oh, oh yeah, he did they do were the trying. bounce. Yep. He did do the bounce, but it was, did, it was but not see, they good get enough. That, they get that momentum and they Sorry, just can't ice, stop ice, it. Sorry, Ice Ice Baby. Yep. All right, first there is Constantinople. Got it. Second place is the Electro Knight. Okay. Third place, Red Rover, Mars Rover come right over mm -hmm. fourth place is speckled knight of teton fifth place is nova and sixth place is uh kimura all right i don't believe any of our three oh no electro knight scored right electro knight scored so it's still fox and fiesta vajita that are in the mix for the non-scoring bonus yeah, if you don't score the whole race chris it's possible to get a bonus of 60 points, I 60 think? 60 points, yes. No, 30 points. No, no, 60 points. 60 points if you never score. I believe that strategy is called blowing up the moon. It, yes. And, but the thing is, that's not enough to get you through the final race. No. So a, a few races ago, Cupcake did that, got 60 points, and then went on to and whoop in to every other race. they were winning everything else. It was a smart strategy. Very difficult to pull off, though. Here we go! <clears throat> Wow, Aussie Whoa. Taurus. Oh, machine. No, 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 no. Oh, and I yeah, I think Fiesta Fajita might have given up their chance, too, for the bonus. They did indeed. All right. So we start with the Aussie Tourist coming in with 10 points. All right. Then Dreamsicle with seven. Nova with third. Uh, with five, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Constantinople, which seems to be consistently doing well, in fourth. Fiesta Fajita in fifth. You know, if you're going to break your streak of not scoring, yeah. fifth is not the way to do no, it. No, it's not. And then six is... Um... <laughs> I 
Milky Way. Milky Way. Got it. It's like it, it is an unfor- it is forgettable, Tom. I don't know why. <laughs> Milky Ways are forgettable. Uh, we we still have Fox. Mike, I want in, in Mars to be sponsoring this show. <laughs> oh. It's not going to help. What about one of their other fine candy bars, Tom? Like the Mars Bar, for example. I'd even prefer that over the Milky Way. The Mars bar. bar doesn't even make any sense. Milky Way sounds like it tastes. The Milky also, so the Milky was, Way was there an astronaut on board when they were naming all their yeah, candy bars? Yeah, that's a bars? good point, Tom. They seem to be a bit obsessed with space. Why am I missing a marble? Oh, there's there that's it is. baby. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Race number six, Tom. Oh, some bonuses. Oh, so it's possible if Milky Way places yeah. here, they'll or get a Nova. bonus. Or Nova. Here we wow. go. Wow, Nova Nova's wants to place. To... Oh, but don't want to place too much. You no, don't you're going to too first. fast, Nova. Okay, you're fine. Oh! oh, Nova's going to get a bonus. Once again, Milky Way played the clever game, mm-hmm. and Ice Ice Baby is too used to winning. Yes. So Milky Way gets 10. Wow. Um, second is uh, Kimura. Third, Moonstruck. Got Fourth, it. Upside Down. Got it. Fifth, Nova. And six Mars Rover. All right, wow. So we've got some we've got some bonuses here, Tom. Nova gets five points for doing every race that round, and twice it scored fifth place. That's a bonus of ten for them. Milky Way gets a bonus of five points, and that's it. So two bonuses given out in that Does round. Does Fox get the bonus yet? No, we did a, we did a bonus at the end, but Fox is up to how many points now? Well, they 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 haven't placed in six races. So that would be um, Fox is up to 10, ten bonus points. 10 bonus points, All Which right. is really nothing. But if, if they don't score these next three races, then it's up to 30. 30, yes. Yeah, so this could be a 30-point swing for Fox. Mm-hmm. Which in this race where no one is dominating could put Fox in a lead, which would be quite sly, that if I might say. That would be sly. Here we go. Man, look at Fox. They're not even trying. No. It's, like, it's like they're trying to go slow. Oh. Oh, Kamora, Kamora, Kamora. All right, first place, Nova. Nova with 10, Tom. Second, Ice Ice Baby, who's learned to come in slower. Yes. Third place, Moonstruck. Got it. Fourth place, Street Smarts is finally on board. Mm. Fifth place, Fiesta Fajita. And sixth place, Electro Knight. All right. The crowd has gotten noticeably quieter. Is the, they've fallen asleep, Mr. Are they, Chris. Are they intimidated by your presence, Chris? What's happening up there? Uh, everyone is still arguing about candy bars, unfortunately. Fair, <laughs> fair. Mike, that is why we don't talk about this sort of thing. <laughs> What's the rule? No religion, no sex, no politics, no, no candy, candy bar. bars. Right, Tom, I'm sorry. Come on. I, I have a hard time. It's, it's really hard for me to... It's such an important topic in today's topsy-turvy world, Tom. This is race number eight. eight. We're halfway. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Street Smarts, that's not that's actually. Not, that's not what you Did Milky want. Way do it again? Oh. Fox just lost their bonus, Tom. Fox did score. All right. Anyway, Milky Way gets the first place. Okay. Second place, Ice Ice Baby. Got it. Third place, Fox. Fourth place, Fiesta Fajita. Fifth place, after a long time, The Machine. Mm-hmm. Sixth place, Electro Knight. All right. Now, Ice Ice Baby has a chance here for a good bonus. Yes. If they score second in this next race, because they just got second two times in a row, you get second three times in a row, that's a bonus of 20 15, points. 15 points. On oh, that. also in all three, you get five. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. That could be a huge swing, but it's huge. also that's also a hard thing to do. Really tough. Time. Because in this race, you're not shooting for second, you're shooting for third right. to get that. All righty, well, let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, we lost. Well, Dreamsicle's one. not even trying. Neither is Nova. Dreamsicle and Nova just. Oh, Ice Ice Baby's down there. Oh. Oh my goodness. No, well, it's still not bad though. No. <laughs> Can't wow. complain there. Mom, I'm sorry, Kamora. Ice Ice Baby in first place. Wow. Second, Street Smarts. Got it. Third, Mars Rover. Got it. Fourth, Upside Down. Okay. Fifth is um, Milky Way. And six, Fiesta Fajita. All right. Now, we've got bonuses and subtotaling here, Tom. That's true. We want to we wanna kind of uh, – we're not doing the, the finals yet, but let me give the bonuses out, and then Mike is going to uh, add these together. His favorite part of every race. I love it, Tom. So, Ice Ice Baby gets a bonus of 10 points because they duplicated second place, and they came in all three times. Mm-hmm. Electro Knight got sixth place twice for a bonus of five. 
And Fiesta, even though they came in fifth, fourth, fifth, and sixth, right. gets a bonus of five. That doesn't seem like it's enough to help them. No, but let's take a look here, Tom. All right, well, while you're doing that, I'll go up to the stands. Chris, how are things up here? The crowd seems like they are all... Wait, is there... Have we been selling more candy bars? Uh, our concessions are up, but our revolt track is also going pretty high after the way that root beer float was treated. You know... I wish we didn't have a revolt track in this game. Whose idea was that to bring that in? Sorry, Tom. That was mine. I'll I'll pull it out next, Rex. All right. You know, if, if we lose because of that. But, uh, all right. So, but what? It, let me ask you this. I, I hate to keep on the candy bar theme, but aren't M&Ms better than all candy bars? No, they're not, Tom. Oh, you're supposed to be doing score, Mike. I think I if you offer me some M&Ms, and I'm not saying it has to be an apology, but... Since I saw that commercial about M&M's being done as an apology, if you've ever said anything negative about any of my reviews ever, I feel like you should send me a pack of M&M's in the mail. Um, I'm not going to eat them because I'm trying not to eat much candy these days. But but it's the thought that counts is what you're saying. No, I'm going to eat them. Come on now, Chris. I was just kidding there. Not peanut M&M's, though, because peanut M&M's are of the devil. The robot track oh, wait, is wait. moving up, Tom. <laughs> well, my, my daughter... Has a, said she'll eat the peanut M and M's. Fair enough. All right. Well, here we go, Tom. Uh, we've got our subtotals after race number nine. So we're going to start at the bottom. Correct. I don't care. Sure. Um, we've got moonshine. Uh, no, ma machine or moonshine. <laughs> I'm going to name it moonshine. Machine and Fox both coming in with five points. Then we've got Mars Rover at seven. Uh, boy, I really don't like doing an order like this. It's hard. Then we have the Speckled Knight of Teton at 11. We've got um, the Upside Down and Fiesta Fajita at 13. We've got Dreamsicle at 14. We've got... Uh, and Electro Knight gets 14. Sure, and Electro Knight at 14, too. We've got Aussie Tourist and Istanbul at 16. We've got Moonstruck at 17. And then we're going to be moving up here. We've got uh, at 20 points Street Smarts. We've got uh, 25 points, Kimura. Then we've got Nova with 31, Ice Ice Baby with 37, and Tom with a commanding lead, the really inferior candy bar of Milky Way <laughs> with 40. How do you know it's about the points. candy bar? It might actually be about our space. You can't be like against the Milky Way. We live there. Tom, it's always going to be the candy bar for me. <laughs> All right, three more races, folks. There's actually six more races. After these three races, we will be eliminating the bottom eight racers. Here we go. Here we go. A lot of tentative racing here. I don't think anyone would... Yeah, Nova lucked out with getting that second place. All righty. Oh, yes. Sorry, Mars Rover. You're Nova, right. 10 points. Then the upside down with seven. We got Kimura with five. The Machine with three. We have um, uh, Aussie Taurus with two, and then Dreamsicle with one. All right. All right, two more races, and then Mike's favorite part where I add in all the end game bonuses. <laughs> it's fantastic, Tom. It is. Now, Tom, I will note that although the revolt track is teetering at the edge, attendance is soaring. So there must be something about disagreeing with you that makes people come. Yeah, well, that's always been the success of the Dice Tower. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> And they're off. There's a lot of jockeying because they don't there want to is. be first. You can right. tell. Dreamsicle, oh, come on Dreamsicle, now. Dreamsicle, not a good move. Man, I like Dreamsicles. All right, well, the Upside Down came in second with 10. Okay. Then we have the Speckled Knight of Teton with 7. Moonstruck with 5. Ice Ice Baby with 3. Constantinople, I'm sorry, Istanbul mm -hmm. with two. 2. And then Kimura with 1. All right. All righty. Final race that eight of these marbles are going to go in. Mm -hmm. It's a sad thing sometimes to be in the bottom eight. You lost but we one, give Tom. them all, I see it, <laughs> we give them all a free hot dog and a oh. coupon for 10% off at the gift shop. Hey, now that's a deal right there, Tom. You know what they sell at the gift shop? Milky Way! That's yeah, correct. But not cream sodas. And I'm oh, gonna come on, that Ice situation. Ice Baby. This is not the time to be first. Oh. Uh, maybe they're doing it to give everyone else a chance. Could be. Well, either way, that brings the Speckled Knight and Teton in first. All right. With 10. Mm -hmm. Fiesta Fajita in second with seven. Got it. Third place, Moonstruck. Fourth place. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You said Fiesta. I got to put that in the right spot. Okay, you said Moonstruck. Got it. Fourth place, Upside Down. All right. 
Fifth place, Fox. Uh, Fox is shooting for lowest they score. They really are. And sixth place, Nova. All right, so we've got some bonuses here, and then we've got All right, our so we got only one bonus or two bonuses from that round. Moonstruck got third place twice, or fourth place, technically, for five mm -hmm. points. And Upside Down scored all three times for a bonus of five. Now we're going to see who got the most of each place. So the most second places, which translated into first, I see two tens for Nova, but Milky Way got three. Yeah, I think that's Milky Way. So Milky Way gets a bonus of five points. The most second places, or third places, mm -hmm. for seven, we have... Doesn't look like any... Oh, Ice Ice Baby has two. Yep, Ice Ice Baby it is. Ten bonus points mm -hmm. for Ice Ice Baby. Fifteen points for the most thirds. That's fives. Oh, that's clear. Moonstruck. Moonstruck got got third or fourth place four times. Wow. So for a bonus of 15, which I'll be adding that's a to that. bold strategy. Um, and then the most... Fourth places, which is three points. Uh, let's see. We got two for the Speckle Knight of Teton. Two for... Up oh, Upside Down got three. So that's Upside Down for a bonus of 15 for them. No, a bonus of 20. Oh, my goodness. So that's a bonus of 25 for the Speckle... For Upside Down. That's not going to hurt. Mm -mm. Fifth places is a bonus of 25. The most twos. Fiesta got... Oh, wow. Nova has that one. They got it three times, I believe. Nobody else came in fifth place so many times, so Nova gets a bonus of 25. And then the most sixth places, the most last places, and seventh place this time, I see two for Electro Knight, and that may be it. Yep, no one else got sixth place more than once. I'm double-checking because, oh, Mo Mars Rover did. So no well, one no scores one that, that bonus. All right. Then did anyone get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? So you need a it would ten. Have to be two, three. It'd be two through seven. Right? Yeah, it'd be two through seven. So be we need a ten and a seven, or I'm not gonna even consider it. There's a ten, seven, five, one. No, Kamara did not ever get fifth place. No, fourth place. And no, 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 nobody did that yeah, extra bonus. Be tough to pull off, Tom. And then the no placing at all. Fox did that twice. So Fox gets a bonus of ten, which is not gonna help them at all. Spoiler alert. No, it is not. And that is it. Those are all the bonuses. Mike's going to give the subtotals, and eight marbles will be eliminated. Who are people rooting for at this point, Chris? They're per currently rooting for a Hershey's chocolate bar after pizza. Good call. That is, that is a new name. I do not remember that marble making it. Uh, Hershey's chocolate bar? Hershey's chocolate bar. What's the best use of Hershey's chocolate bar? It's one answer. S'mores. Thank you. That's the only purpose for Hershey's chocolate. No, no, bar. there's some pies you can do it into. Oh, Mike. I suppose that's true. Now, Tom, I was able to interview someone in the audience who actually agrees with you. Uh, Nathan says that M and M's are better when they're not sentient in the commercials. I agree. I was just saying that this morning. Is anyone else weirded out by the sentient M and M's? I don't like it. You eat M and M's. Why are they, as a company, why are they trying to make it seem like I'm eating a living being? That's that's weird. I don't like it. The revolt track's moving up, Tom. No, I, I am. There's got to be people who agree with me on that one. That McDonald's doesn't make their hamburgers. Oh, that's not a good example. <laughs> Pizza Hut doesn't make their pizzas come to life. Not a good example, Tom. All right, here we go. We've got our semifinalists. Well, I know who the one of the lowest is. <laughs> All right, so we'll start at the lowest, which may not be who you think it is, Tom. Well, our I know lowest. Fox is in the lowest. It is in the lowest, but our lowest with seven points is the Mars Rover. Really? And they play several times. Yeah, They're but they got last place twice. All right. Ooh. Next, with Mars, eight Mars points, is, is the Machine. The Machine's a small marble, and this race doesn't necessarily favor small no, marbles. No, it sure doesn't. Uh, Although next, they did make a top 16. Uh, next, we have, with 14 points, Electro Knight. All righty. Well, since I always forget their name, that will be an easy one for me to say goodbye to. And then with 17 points is Fox. Wow, Fox. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Oh. With 15 points is Dreamsicle. Apologies. Sorry. No spoilers at all. Right. Then with 17 <laughs> points Fox, is we got Fox. It. Next. Three more marbles aren't making the final race. And we have two that are tied with 18 points, Tom, that are not going to make it. That is Aussie Tourist and Istanbul. Hmm. Then two different continents are disappointed. That is correct. Ooh, now, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
We have an issue, Tom. We're going to have to have a race off for our last place. I am always pleased to have a race off. Two marbles with 20 points. So we're going to be having a race off between Street Smarts and Fiesta Fajita. The crowd Ooh. is rooting for Fiesta Fajita, from what I can hear up here. All right, here we go. Well, I want Street Smarts to win because I don't believe in book learning. <laughs> Here we go. This I is do like be eating Mexican food, so I'm not quite sure. Fiesta well, Fajita is really just dominating this performance. So. All righty, Fiesta Fajita makes it. They don't get any extra points for <laughs> no, that, no, Mike. No, no, Street Smarts is out. All right, so here we go. The final three races here, folks. The other ones have all been crossed off. And our last race is double points, Tom. That's true. You know why we do that? Because we can. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Look at them go. Fan favorites. One former champion. And they're off. Here we go. Second place is still not counting. Oh, oh no. my goodness, Tom. Ah, Look, all the humanity. Get off the track. Oh, my get goodness. Get off the track. <laughs> is that, is that going to count, Tom? Yes, that didn't That's change anything. Count. All right. Wait. Chris, can you mark down the asterisk that the uh, people are calling? Did I pull one off that was actually in the race? Tom, I have no idea what you just did. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is the missing marble? There's one right down there. That's... Oh. <laughs> uh, was the upside down in the race? Uh, upside down is yeah, very much in the race. Well, you know what? We're just going to redo that race, and we're not going to blame anybody, because that is probably Chris's fault. He's new. Chris, that's a shame that you already have made such a huge mistake. Uh, we'll mark it down in the official paperwork, and you'll be talking to HR after we're done. Just to clarify, I'm also HR. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. This is the real. The real. The real race race number 13. Race. That was unlucky 13, Tom. There's no question about it. Here we go. Upside out is determined to still get first. That's not a good not idea. Not a good idea. All righty. The speckled knight of Teton. No. That's Milky it, Way. Milky Way. Milky yep. Way's out to Mike's anger. <laughs> Fiesta Fajita gets 10 points All there. All right. Moonstruck gets seven. Got it. Ice Ice Baby with five. Nova with three. Upside Down with two. And speckled knight of Teton with one. All right. Don't forget, folks. Nobody gets bonus points in these final three rounds. It's no all, bonus points, except now. for the doubling of except the final race. Except for the double race. of the final race. And Tom, just letting you know that Angela Fortunato says that Chris is doing a great job, and the rest of the crowd is calling for my resignation. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> ah, you know, it happens to everyone. In the first race, Mike called for his own resignation. <laughs> I did. But then we reminded him of a six-year contract. That's correct, Tom. Oh, oh, wow. We really should have read that so, more carefully. <laughs> The Speckled Knight Teton tried to do the bounce out of the way. It did not work. Nova coming in first place with 10. Mm -hmm. Second is um, Kimura. All right. Third is Moonstruck with five. Got it. Fourth is the Upside Down. Got it. Fifth is um, Fiesta Fajita. And sixth is Ice Ice Baby. All right, here we go. Our final race. Double the points, Tom. And it's Who also wants double this more. It's double the fun, from what I can understand. It is double the fun, Tom. Will Ice Ice Baby pull off a double win? Or will we have a new champion to add to our boards? Here we go. Here we are. The final race. Double points. Oh, Speckled Knight of Teton is out of the mix. Completely out of this the race. This is not the time to be jumping into the stands. No. And, oh, oh, Ice Ice Baby! is not going to be getting any points no. in the final race. So that gives us 20 points to the Upside Down. Wow. 14 to Fiesta Fajita. 10 to Kimura. 6 to Milky Way. Uh, 4 to Moonstruck. And 2 to Nova. All right. Now, you did put a... Line for bonus, but we're not using that. No, box, one of these days I'll take that off your sheet. That's fantastic. All right, let me get these totals up and we'll put the crowd out of their misery. I've been interviewing members of the crowd. Uh, John Posniak here joins me saying that Chris needs to be punished for his mistakes with a promotion. That's that does make a lot of sense. That is how we do things around here. And that is why I'm in charge. You too could be in charge. <laughs> I'm excited about this, and for the first time, I haven't a clue. Really? I haven't a clue. No, no, I heard a lot of points being thrown around. Lots I mean, of points. But but who knows? We've had different winners. I'm kind of hoping for a tie again, because if so, we have to drag out the zombies. And you all know how that went oh, last Oh, wow, time. this is amazing. 
Is there an eight-way tie for first no. place? Because that would be amazing. Don't use the word lightly, Mike. Well, how about this, Tom? They're one point separates our first and second place racers so that's that's pretty, less exciting than a tie but still very exciting when you get into these high numbers tom that's pretty close all right well let's do eighth place because they're not going to get nothing eighth place gets a whole lot of nothing and that is the speckled knight of teton you should be ashamed of yourself hey he made a top eight out of 117 marbles or something yeah well that plus an inferior candy bar will get you eighth place <laughs> all right so seventh place we're coming in with uh, 46 points, and that is Fiesta Fajita, who came into this with only 20 points. So not too bad to get in there. Next, with 48 points, is Kamora. Kamora, that's twice in a row now. Kamora's been racing well here. Yep. Next, with 54 points, is Milky Way. Oh, well, Mike, you got your wish. From first um, to fourth. I did. And then with 56 points is Ice Ice Baby. There will not be a repeat winner. There will not be. Okay, so here we go. All right, so top. what do we got here? We got Upside Down, Nova, and Moonstruck. Whoa. These are all marbles that have been in races many times. Veteran marbles. They all. are veteran marbles. And with third place, Tom, with 63 points. Any guesses? No, I don't know. Cool. I already Moonstruck, told you Moonstruck, Tom. Oh, Moonstruck. Ooh, so that's between Nova and the Upside Down. Will Netflix <clears throat> win, or is Nova TV station? I feel like they are. Nova was an old show on PBS, Tom. It was a... a... No one watched PBS, Mike. Tom, that's why nobody knows about cream sodas. That's the problem. <laughs> if people would watch more Nova... All right. So here we go with... The score was 83 and 82 between first and second Woo! place. Come in with second place with 82 points is... Nova. Oh, Nova. And our winner, Come Tom. On, Nova. <laughs> Nova, that's embarrassing. Don't, don't, don't give up on your final lap. Wow, Nova. I, I really feel like you were an imposter. What, was there performance enhancing things here? And with our number one is the Upside Down coming in with Congratulations to Upside Down for winning yet another, um, not Tony, not Oscar. What is it? A, what, an Emmy? An Emmy, yes. Yeah, okay. We can give out Emmys here. We can sure, do we can give out Emmys. All righty, folks. Well, that is that. Thank you for watching. I'll give the marbles back to the marble manager. Upside down is one. We had a new victor. If you want to send a marble in, you can email me at tom at dicetower.com, and, and I'll tell you how to send that marble in. And you can get your own marbles into these races. We're having a new marble track built. Watch Board Game Breakfast yep, on Monday, I believe, to see more about it. Very exciting stuff. All right, but thanks so much for watching Shoots and Marbles. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delisio. And I'm Chris Yee. And we'll see y'all next time. And there we go. No. No. The video file is never found, Mike. Tom, it's what's happening? Found. Tom, what's, I blame this on Chris. Chris, I'm going to have to ask Why you to zip the line entry? from the top oh, of the... What the? What the? There it is. is. I found it. All right. No. no. Find it. Oh, my goodness, Tom. That is not how it what works. What is happening here? Oh. Wait, you can see me. <laughs> oh.